Um, Dr Phil, what, what's your take on what's going on at the moment? What do you feel needs to be done? <laughs> Well, all these disputes, whether it's nurses or paramedics or perhaps in March junior doctors, can only be sorted out by people getting round the table. It, there has to be a negotiated settlement. All of them uh, have strong cases, as you said. It's not just about cost of living now. It's the fact that their pay has um, dropped by around about a quarter since 2008 in real terms. So they've all got pressing issues with pay. Um, I think part of the problem is it's almost like a football manager who's lost the dressing room. We've had so many health secretaries, a bit like Chelsea. We've had so many health secretaries over the last uh, few years since the Conservatives have been in. Nobody's really sure who's in charge and nobody really trusts who's in charge. And I think to restore that trust between government and frontline workers, they do need to sit down and talk. Um, I'm hopeful with the junior doctors because they've said that they won't take action until the spring. There's plenty of opportunity then to get down and talk and perhaps avert a 72-hour walkout, which would be pretty, uh, well, would just add to the problems in the NHS. But to be fair, these things have been a long time coming. And I think what irritates me is when Rishi Sunak and the government claims it's all about the pandemic. We knew waiting lists for 4.4 million going into the pandemic. And anyone who's written about the NHS, as I have for 30 years in private eye, knows that we've, we've struggled with lack of a staffing plan to cope with the fact that people are living longer and longer with more illnesses. Uh, even when we've increased staff, we haven't always had the capacity to be able to treat people. Um, and politically, we try to get a world-class health service fairly cheaply. Uh, we had 10 years of austerity. Now, suddenly we throw money at it. But once you haven't built the capacity, then suddenly throwing money at it doesn't make much immediate difference. So I can't see a, a huge turnaround very quickly for the NHS. Um, People are saying, gosh, should we privatise it? Should we consider other funding streams? But that would involve a political mandate, a political party would say. Mm -hmm. You know, we think a better way to put money in the NHS is to combine a tax uh, service with a social insurance service. But you need to stick that on your mandate. You need to debate that with the people. You need to get that through a general election. And that's at least five years away. So we're sort of stuck in this two-tier system where the NHS is providing a safety net and you're not always getting the care you need in an emergency and those with money are able to buy themselves out of trouble privately. And I think that's the way it's going to so be for the next five years point, or so. I